Hey, it is Hoops 8 time and all kinds of action on this Tuesday night heading into the holiday. Some intriguing matchups to play out tonight and let's check out our first video of the evening. This would be festive fans in South Portland, Falmouth in South Portland, Jalen Jackson getting work done. He had 16 red riots by 15 at the break. Brady Coyne trying to fuel a comeback baseline. The sweet reverse for the Navigators. But too much JP Estrella inside the reverse and then working the glass, the throw down. He had 20. South Portland 58 41 over Falmouth. Packed into Keegan Jim tonight for Portland and Chevers. Game of the night. Second quarter. The Stags owned it. Silvano Ishmael splits the defenders. The finish. He had nine straight. Stags by 12 at the break. In the third, here comes Portland. James Johnson, instead of filling it up from three, kicks it inside. For the basket, Spencer Cross, he had 15. Under two to play, dogs down two. Cross drains the three, Portland up one. Leo McNabb then goes to work. The answer from the freshman, Stags go up 42-40. But Portland dominated the paint in the second half. Wani Donato ties it up at 42 with over a minute to play. Portland hits three free throws under a minute to play, and Chevers needed a three in the last few seconds, and they turn it over. 44-41, Portland with the win. Lewiston boys on the road at Wyndham tonight. Donovan Jackson fires ahead to Ali Abduhali. Blue Devils up 15 in the third. Blue Devils keep going to the hoop. Kay and Langley for the deuce. Then Elijah Bigelow with a tough drive. 66-40, it's all Lewiston tonight in Wyndham. Greeley boys hosting Gorham. Quinn Dillon spotting up in the corner. Trey Bien for Gorham. Then Ashton LeClerc. Drives, hits the left-handed runner. He had 21. We uh, Greeley, that is, a quick run. Liam Gardner to a cutting Seamus Raftis, who had 12. Then D. Martin Coyne, the spin move inside. He would hit a shot at the buzzer, and Greeley wins it 52-51. They're unbeaten. All right, pajama night in Westburg. Blue Blaze is hosting Cape Elizabeth. Jake Frame feeling it from outside and using that to set up the drive. The basket in one. He had 16. Cape by nine in the second quarter. Westbrook starts to figure out the zone, though. Taylor Aiden inside for the basket. Then Tyler Hethcote with the rebound going coastal. He had 19. Westbrook, its first win, 55-52. Mount Ararat trying to hand Yarmouth its first loss of the season. Sutter Auger going to work the crossover and then going lefty off glass. Then Nate Hagedorn driving and dishing to Cole Snyder for the lay-in. It was all Yarmouth. Parker Bate gets a late bucket for Mount Ararat, but Yarmouth 53-29. They stay unbeaten. North Yarmouth Academy boys hosting Trape Academy. Late in the first half, Panthers in transition. Joaquin Bila to Bryce Poulin for the lay-in. He had nine. Then Elliot Oney. Drives baseline, dishing off to Cal Nice. That's a nice 50 to 44 NYA with the win. Old Orchard Beach hosting St. Dom's in a big C matchup in the South. Landon Johnson with the spin move and the finish for the goals. Then Brady Croto inside the nice reverse lay in. Old Orchard's up six. Here comes St. Dom's. Noah Sear answers with a three. He had 10, but Johnson had a game high 19. Old Orchard takes it 52 to 35. On the girls' side, big matchup tonight as Wells and Marshwood. Last time we had a tournament, they were state champions going at it tonight in Wells. Pick up the action in this one. Early third, Grace Boucher goes coast to coast. Warriors looking good, up 18. Hawks trying to battle back. Shelby Anderson inside to Sophie Mitchell for the basket. But Wells has an answer. Her name, Grace Ramsdale. The three, she had 21. And the Ruby McMinnis with a three of her own. 52-37 Wells, another impressive win. Gorham girls hosting Greeley. Mid-third quarter, Moore and Hester working the offensive glass. The putback for the Rangers. They're down four midway through the quarter. But Gorham goes on a big run. Anna Nelson. Knocks it down. She had 17. Then Briley Bishop, the tray. She had eight. Nicole Walker spotting up for three. Gorham outscores Greeley 25 to two in the quarter and takes it 61 39. Yarmouth girls hosting Mount Ararat. Early going. Ava Feely working in the post. The nice post move off the block. Yarmouth with a lead early. Other way, Maddie Kinney working inside. The nice turnaround shot for Yarmouth. Caitlin DiApolonia finds a cutting Nina Panazzo. Mount Ararat with an answer. Callie Pomerlo, the nice drive to the hoop for two. Then Pomerlo drains the three. She had 13. And Mount Ararat with a road win, 36-33 over Yarmouth. Thornton Academy girls hosting Bonnie Eagle. 
Addison Suwakowski with a three to give Thornton Academy an early lead. Other way for the Scots, Caitlin Bartash working in the post. She had 15. Then Allie Hegarty spots up, buries the three for the Scots. Trojans respond though. Emily Coleman finishes the fast break with the lay in. Then Jessica Dow on the break. She had 11, 42, 36. Thornton, a big win in overtime. All right, holiday sweater kind of night at Deering with Oxford Hills in town. Vikings jump out to a big lead. CR Carson, the textbook fast break feed to Gabby Tibbetts. Vikings up 12. Maya Gale trying to lead a comeback in the second. She had 14. They cut the deficit to seven, but the Vikings pull away. Katie Halley spots up for the jumper. 52-33, Oxford Hills there, 3-0. Portland and Chevris. The Stags without Maddie Fitzpatrick tonight, and they're still going to run. Lillian Singleton ahead to Emma Leesop. She had 17. Then Rachel Feely pushing it. She finds Emily Bontatibas, who had 18. Chevris with the win, 62-37. York girls traveling north to take on Biddeford. Wildcats running in the third. Clara Pavick to Emily Rainforth for the layup. She had 18. Biddeford did play much better in the second half. Hannah Goslin with the pull-up jumper. She had 14, but too much Pavick. She answers with the putback. She had 15. 57-39, York the win. Candy Bunk hosting Gray New Gloucester. Pick up the action in the third. Amber Fortin off the inbounds play for the Patriots for two. Then Alexand Alexandra Potras to the hoop in transition. Gray up 31-18, and they win it 48-32. All right, back up to Old Orchard for a matchup against St. Dom's. Elise McNair, what a start to the year she's had. She finds Summer St. Louis for the layup. Then Kaylee Airy, the nice pass ahead to Tessa Ferguson for the bucket as well. Then St. Louis inside for two more. Old Orchard with a win 47 to 21. Edward Little Girls going up north to face Bangor. The Rams hitting the offensive glass when we pick up the action. Carmen Maddox with the putback for two. The other way for the Red Eddies, Saffron Humison with the follow, but it wasn't enough. Bangor, a 59 26 win over EL. That right there, Hoops 8. More total coverage is back after this.